I can get right to questions. Your first one will come from Jason Kersey of The Athletic, and then we'll go to Joe Bettner. Jason, go ahead. Hey, DeMarco. Good to see you. Um, well, wanted to just ask you about the experience of the last year. You get hired, and then immediately everything shuts down. How difficult was it to have your first year be that year? It was difficult looking back at it, um, but, you know, that's that's a part of the game and, and there's no excuses and, you know, you got to get your job done. And, and that's, you know, how I've always approached uh, my career, my life. Um, but, you know, um, we're obviously, you know, part of, of many that kind of dealt with the with the same, but being a new coach and not having the spring, not having a chance to recruit and go on the road and really form those relationships was obviously difficult. But, hey, you know, you got to got to live with it and, um, you know, and. Thankfully for us, you know, we um, spent the, you know, Coach Lincoln, you know, did a great job at just, you know, rallying the troops and just really being informative on everything and really always us as a program, as a football team, whether it's our team or in the recruiting process, have always been a step ahead and making sure that, you know, we're um, we're ready and, and um, you know, are all on the same page. Thanks, man. Okay, Joe Bettner, Norman Transcript, and then Eric <clears throat> Marco, I want to ask you about your newcomer, Eric Gray. I'm just wondering what that process was like, yeah, getting him on campus and how he's looking so far and what kind of main contributions he can make to this football team. Oh, uh, yeah. The first word that, that comes to mind about Eric Gray is a pro. You know, he, he's a true pro on and off the field. Uh, he's a guy that shows up early, uh, stays late, um, you know, extremely smart. Um, the transition for him offensively, scheme-wise, has been very – honestly easy for him, um, you know, and, and our offense is it's extremely complicated. I'm still obviously learning every day, um, but uh, you can just kind of tell his his professionalism, his approach to the game and, and what he wants to accomplish. And it, it's been great. You know, he's a heck of a player, great person, great young man. So, you know, we're, we're, we're fortunate to have him here. Thanks, Marco. Hey, okay, Eric Bailey, Tulsa World, and then Ryan Aber. Hey, DeMarco, thanks for your time today, man. Um, when we talked to Ramon Jerry, he said that he told us that he had a lot of tread left on his tires as he prepares for the NFL draft. What's the balance of advising a player that it's time to get his pro career started at a very physical position versus staying in school and maximizing your draft stock? I think you got to look at the overall, you know, the player and what he's done. Uh, I think Ramon Jerry, you know, obviously missed the first first part of the season and um you know when he did come back he was you know the best running back in the big 12 in this conference and 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 a, a top running back in the nation and i think you know um sometimes you got to kind of strike while the iron's hot and you know for him he i think he did that with his family and things of that nature we obviously you know gave him some some information um to help make his decision easier um you know so He's obviously, you know, when you when you talk about running backs and carries and things of that nature, you know, those things add up, you know, from high school to college, obviously, you know, all those numbers are important. And, you know, he was a guy that, you know, stayed extremely fresh, stayed healthy. So, you know, you look at that and you look at kind of, you know, this past year, you know, for him as a player and, um, you know, I, I think for him, you know, it was it was the right decision and, you know, we support him, you know, whatever decision he made, obviously we would love to have him back, but, I think Ramondre is a great player, and I think he's going to do really well at the next level. Marco, thanks. Have a good week. Thank you. <clears throat> the Oklahoma and then Kerry Murdoch. Yeah, Marco, you touched on a little bit with uh, Jason's uh, question earlier, but uh, what was it like uh, recruiting uh, over the last year uh, as you acclimate to that that new spot, and how were were you able to to overcome some of the challenges? Uh, that the, the recruiting restrictions presented? Yeah, it's hard. Um, you know, just just from an evaluation standpoint, you know, for me, I had never seen and really honestly still hadn't seen a lot of the running backs in person that I'm recruiting. So all you kind of get to go off is highlights and, you know, some seven on seven films and things of that nature. So it's a little hard. You got to, you know, really, you know, um, get a different eye on them sometimes, you know, with Coach Riley and, and you know, Drew are, player personnel guy, even, you know, Bill and Coach Gundy. So I've 
weighed heavily on those guys just to get a second opinion, third or fourth opinion on certain guys because obviously they've seen some of these guys in person. But, um, you know, we were always a step ahead in the process with recruiting and, um, you know, they, they did a great job, you know, our, our team here and, and us as a staff, we all kind of, you know, came together. But, you know, not being on the road and really not being able to see people in person, um, you know, it's it's a little, a little hard and frustrated. But, hey, you know, we attacked it. We were positive about it. And, you know, we're one of many, obviously, that had to deal with the same situation. Appreciate it, DeMarco. Gary Murdoch with Sooner Stoop and then James Hale. <laughs> Gary, you're muted. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Uh, hey, DeMarco, how you doing? Um, I was wondering if you could talk about you, kind of your approach with a guy like Seth McGowan, who, you know, uh, was a freshman kind of learning his, you know, what he can and can't do uh, against this level of competition. What was it like for you kind of working with him last year and, and how much growth have you seen from him after playing last year? His first year was, um, you know, he's a player when you first look at him from working out and practice. I mean, he, he's he's going to jump off the field. He's going to jump off your eyes. I mean, he's explosive. He's fast. He's physical. He's versatile. Um, you know, but as a young player, you obviously got to learn the scheme. You got to learn patience. You got to learn, you know, the offense. And, and uh, for him, he's an extremely smart kid and obviously talented. You know, it's just for him, he has to take it one play at a time, you know, good, bad, or ugly. You know, he can't. You know, as a freshman, you have a lot of highs and lows, you know, and, and um, you know, so for him, being a second year player is going to be extremely helpful for him. Obviously, this spring, getting more reps, um, more experience, learning the offense and, and continue to grow as a person. But um, he, he's um, extremely versatile. You know, we're, we're happy to have him. And um, just the most important thing as a freshman, you just got to learn patience and, and just kind of learn the scheme and, and really how to run the ball in this offense. Thanks, DeMarco. Okay, James Taylor, KREF, and then Chandler Engelbrecht. <clears throat> hey, DeMarco, great to see you, man. Um, you know, through recruiting, OU's always it seemed like to me tried to find different styles of running backs in their running back room if they could through recruiting. So I'm curious, as you look at this group that you currently have going through spring, do you have that? What, you know, talk about your room and the styles and you know of the, of the running backs that you have. Yeah, we, we have a, a, a lot of competition in my room, which, which that's what I want. Um, and that's what we want as a staff in each each position. Um, you had a guy like Eric Gray, who's versatile out of the backfield. He's probably one of the most natural catcher and receiving running backs that we have now. Um, but for me, I always want to have a versatile back. I want to have, you know, different types of back that complement each other. Um, don't want a lot of the same guys. And um, so um, during this recruiting process, that's what you kind of look for. You look for some more, some more, kind of lightning, you know, we, we got a lot of thunder, you know, and um, some power and we got some some speed, you know, so we, we want to continue to get faster, continue to get stronger and, and just be more versatile, you know, at this position. Thanks, DeMarco. Thanks, James. Chandler Engelbrecht, OU Daily, and then John <clears throat> Hoover. Hey, DeMarco, thanks for your time today. I'm curious, now that you're two years into your coaching career, have you noticed any major changes in the college game today opposed to back when you were playing? Uh, it's a long time. I feel like I played a long time ago. <laughs> um, just, you know, just the RPOs. I, I think, you know, the RPOs is, is a lot bigger now than they were back when I played. You know, we ran a little bit, um, but but not a lot, you know. So um, I, I would say just, just the speed, you know, the speed is obviously a lot faster now and, and, um, you know, these defenses are, are so much more versatile now than they were back then. Back then, it was just a simple over even front and blitzing here and there. But now, you know, they, they come all over the place. Um, so the, the defense is a lot more um, versatile and uh, a lot more complicated than they were back in the day. Let's go to John Hoover with SI Sooners and then Joey Helmer. Unmuted. Okay. I think I'm unmuted now. Uh, hey, DeMarco, um, you talked about uh, Eric Gray being a true pro on and off the field. You talked about him being smart and you talked about him being versatile. Does he kind of remind you of yourself a little bit? Does he got that kind of game where he could return kicks and he can catch passes out of the backfield and he can stand up and block if you need him to, that kind of thing? Yeah, you know, he, he, he can. You know, he, he's a guy that obviously did some punt return and kick return back at Tennessee. So, 
Um, he, he can do a lot of the same things that I've done. Um, you know, I, I would say the one thing that he needs to continue to work on is his pass protection. Uh, he, he's, he's not afraid. He's a, he's a physical back when he needs to be, um, but just technical, you know, just, just technique wise. I think, you know, we're, we're going to clean that up for him. And like I said, he is, he's been really good for our room, really good for our team and our offense specifically. Um, but you know, he's just, just a guy that, you know, with the demeanor that he has, you know, very similar to mine, quiet guy. He's about his business. So, um, I, I love working with him. Um, he's, 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 it's a privilege to come every day to, you know, work with him and, and make sure that he's continuing to get better. He's continuing to compete. And, um, but no, he's a, he's an extremely versatile guy, but we, we plan on using him all over the place. Appreciate it, man. Definitely. Two more questions. Joey Helmer with OU Insider and then Josh Calloway. Yeah, one of the guys we haven't talked about yet is Mikey Henderson, moved into your room. So uh, what have been your thoughts on uh, him so far this spring? Um, Mike, have we announced that? Is that out in public? Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm far behind. Yeah, Mike, he's been great. Yeah, you know, he's he's he, he's been great. He's he's a natural runner. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that, you know, in our room, once again, him and Eric, you know, when it comes to receiving and, and route versatility, you know, those two are probably the best. And um, that's that's what we want. Once again, I want a guy that obviously you can run the Rockets runner. That's your job. But you want a guy that you you know put out in the slide, put out it you know, outside to obviously create matchups with linebackers and safeties that, um, you know, that, that creates a lot of mismatches. So Mikey's, he, he's done a great job, you know, thus far, obviously still early. Um, you know, we, we've only had six or seven practices in, but every single day, the most important thing, he's continued to get better and better. That's, that's a, um, he, he's a, he's a great kid. He's a great kid, works hard every single day in the weight room and in practice. So we're, we're excited about him. Thanks. And last question, Josh Calloway with Sooners Wire. Yeah, DeMarco, just curious what it's been like for you to have a, a former teammate around and Joe John Finley joining the staff. Just, I guess, how that's, how that's kind of been for you and if you've helped him, I guess, adapt to being a coach at his alma mater or, or whatever. Yeah, no, he's still helping me. He's he's had a couple more years on this coaching deal than me. But, no, it's great to have Joe John, you know, a great friend of mine that, you know, we were close when, when we played. And, um, obviously, we've always kept in contact. But – um, smart guy, man. He, he's smart. He's been around a lot of top offenses, so he's constantly bringing in new ideas um, from the run game, from the passing game, blocking game, whatever it is. So um, it's great to have him on staff. Great to have, obviously have another Sooner on staff that kind of knows his place and just the tradition behind it and um, you know what we're looking for. So, I mean, he's a great acclimation to, to our staff, to our offense staff in general with our personality. So it's going to be great for us.